16 English expressions with the words stand and sit from EspressoEnglish.net. Number 1. Stand tall means to be proud of yourself and confident in your abilities. For example, don't give up because of one loss. Remember to stand tall and try your best the next time. If something makes your hair stand on end, it means it makes you feel very afraid or frightened. For example, that horror movie with the evil ghost made my hair stand on end. Number 3. If you can't stand the sight of someone or something, it means you strongly dislike them so that you don't even want to look at them. For example, she wanted to be a nurse, but she can't stand the sight of blood, so she became a teacher instead. Number 4. Standoffish If you are standoffish, it means you avoid interacting with other people, or you interact in a slightly rude way that implies you don't like them or you feel superior to them. For example, Barbara is very friendly, but her sister Pam is quite standoffish. She's not the least bit interested in anybody else. Number 5. Stand on your own two feet. This expression means to be independent and support yourself financially. For example, you are 24 years old with a college degree. It's time for you to stand on your own two feet. Number 6. Stand down. This is when soldiers relax and don't participate in a conflict or fight. For example, after the peace treaty was signed, the commander gave the order for the troops to stand down. Troops are groups of soldiers. Number 7. Not have a leg to stand on. This expression means you don't have evidence or logical points in a debate or argument against someone else. For example, Jess, you don't have a leg to stand on in this argument. You haven't learned the facts. Number 8. Stand still or sit still. These expressions both mean to stay without moving. For example, the antelope stood perfectly still as it listened for sounds of possible predators. Parents usually use the phrase sit still to tell children to stop moving around while sitting. For example, my five-year-old can't sit still when we go out to eat. He's always playing with his food or kicking the table. Number 9. Sit tight. This is an informal way to tell people to stay in a place and wait patiently. For example, when the bus broke down on the highway, the driver told the passengers to sit tight until another bus could come pick them up. Number 10. To sit by or sit idly by means to see something happen and choose to do nothing about it, to remain passive and not take action. For example, we can't just sit by and watch innocent people suffer. We have to do something. Number 11. Won't stand for it. If you won't stand for something, it means you refuse to allow it to happen. For example, I won't stand for other people taking the credit for my work. Number 12. Not stand a chance. This expression means to have extremely little probability of succeeding or winning. For example, the boxer was far more experienced than his opponent. The other guy didn't stand a chance. Number 13. Take a stand. To take a stand means to publicly express your opinion on something, especially a controversy, saying you support or are against it. For example, in the interview, the politician kept giving vague answers and avoided taking a stand on health care reform. Number 14. Not sit well with someone. This expression is used when a situation makes you feel uncomfortable or slightly offended. For example, that comment she made didn't sit well with me. It felt like she was indirectly trying to make me look bad in front of my boss. Number 15. Sit out. Sit out means not to participate in an activity. For example, my coworkers are going to a karaoke bar, but I don't like that kind of thing, so I'm going to sit this one out. Number 16. Sit up and take notice. 
If you sit up and take notice, this means you suddenly become alert and start paying attention to something. For example, when the teacher mentioned that the class would go to Disney World, all the students sat up and took notice. Want to learn more idiomatic expressions? Check out the English Idioms course available at EspressoEnglish.net. The lessons in this course will help you discover English idioms in context and practice them with exercises.